All right. I'm going to try to do a video and make it to where hopefully it can give a little bit of better understanding of why a lot of people are going from analog to DMR. The Craftsman 456 is one of the ones I follow on YouTube and he is interested in monitoring DMR and has run into a lot of trouble with trying to do it with a DMR radio and the big problem with that is a DMR radio only knows what you tell it so you got to know everything about what you want to listen to to be able to program it into the radio to be able to hear it whereas a scanner will automatically search for a signal when it finds it, it stops on it, and it'll lock on it, and then when the repeater or radio transmits, it will decode that, and it'll decode it to know whether it's analog, whether it's P25, or decode it to whether it's DMR, and it'll also, with this scanner, it'll decode it to know whether or not it's next DM which is something new that a lot of railroads are going to but I ain't good at videos this is actually my first big one but uh, hopefully Craftsman 456 hopefully it helps you out a little bit or at least help you understand a little bit more alright here we go This is an analog signal going into my scanner from a Baofeng UVB5. This is the little Baofeng that is the B5 with the two knobs on top, volume and channel selector. And since I'm using a ham frequency, I'm going to identify with my call sign. November 4. Delta Delta Yankee N4 DDY testing a Balfang B5 on analog showing the analog signal being decoded by the scanner. This is N4 DDY. This is N4 DDY transmitting on. A radio D, AD 77 DMR Moto Turbo Radio. And this is the way DMR sounds and the way DMR is decoded by a scanner. As you can see, the scanner knows what is coming in and it's decoding it. You'll be able to listen to it. These things can be saved into the scanner for each time it lands on this. It'll automatically be saved, so you can leave it open to where whenever it locks on this frequency, it'll pick up a different, it'll pick up a different color code, it'll pick up a different time slot, and that's the way I leave mine set. Because on certain frequencies I monitor, there's two time slots on every repeater, which means there's two different conversations going on, and sometimes, you can't tell one from the other, and it won't make sense. The conversation won't because one time slot quit talking, the other one will still be talking, and their conversations will be about two totally different things. So. But hopefully, this shows a little bit more about what the scanner does that a DMR radio don't. The DMR radio knows what you tell it, the scanner knows.
And from the clarity of how digital, DMR, P25, and all of that sounds, that's the reason why a lot of public safety is going from analog to digital. But the biggest reason they say is because of interoperability, the ability to talk to each other from different counties, different jurisdictions, and different states. That's the reason for the upgrade to P25 and DMR. So, it shows a FM analog signal right there. FM analog on amateur radio. And on that signal, it shows DMR, time slot 1, color code 1, the talk group ID is 99, and my radio ID number is 3113-681. And that is for my portable radio. But notice the scanner still shows DMR because that was the last signal that it picked up. Now, I can take my little trusty, my little trusty Baofeng radio here so that you can see. I own some Baofengs too. The scanner says DMR, but when I key the button down, you switch back to FM. It shows FM as being the signal received. Then the DMR shows that. You can even hear the pulsating of the digital signal coming through. This is how I know when I'm picking up a DMR signal. It sounds like this over analog. Sounds like a helicopter. And the frequencies downloaded from Radio Reference said that I was listening to uh, at a frequency was being used by an analog system. And when the scanner stopped on it and locked on to it, I heard that pulsating noise that you hear right there. I knew right away that that ain't an analog signal. I went into the scanner settings, switched it from analog over to detect, automatically detect the signal, and then switched it over to DMR accepted, and when I saved them settings into the scanner, I went back to monitor. When I did, it popped up showing the time slot, showing the color code, showing all the information for a DMR repeater. The scanner knew it once I enabled it to be able to decode it. Well, hopefully this helps out a little bit, Craftsman, or... A DMR radio, when you buy it, you're going to have to program that thing. You're going to have to tell it what it's going to want to listen for and what the settings are going to be. A scanner won't do that. A scanner will detect it itself. But hopefully this helps out some. I don't know. I guess leave a comment or something because I know I need improvements everywhere. This is Butterbean. I'm out and gone. 73.